Do you remember where you were when you found out Julie Capson was gone? Julie Capson, sole heir to the Capson Epsom Salt fortune, has disappeared. I was an intern at 7.30 The Wave, Eureka, California, and I was the first reporter on the scene when the police found her car. What they never found, what even their dogs couldn't track, was a body. Followed the scent into a clearing, then seemingly lost track of it. That was 10 years ago. No trace of Julie was ever found. No body, no ransom, no goodbye, and no leads. Ten years later, and we're still asking, where is Julie Capsum? I'm Bea Casely, a journalist with Wayface Radio, a radio station for the good people. Over the course of 12 episodes, I will be digging into one of America's strangest and most high-profile missing persons cases. Join us, won't you, as we unravel the mystery on Arden. <clears throat> Do you remember where you were when you found out Julie Capsom was gone? What about Ralph Montgomery? No, he wasn't an heiress or a movie star. He was just a kid from Van Nuys who would probably go completely forgotten if he hadn't gotten involved with Julie Capsom. Police are looking into foul play in the disappearance of Julie Capsom. No suspects have been named yet, but there are rumors Julie had a stalker. I was a police officer in Eureka, California, and I was one of the first cops on the scene when we found Julie's car. Soon the whole force was out looking for her. We even had our dogs out looking for all the good it did. We never found Julie, but we found someone. Reports coming in that inside the trunk of Miss Capson's car is a human torso, belonging to a young man. That was ten years ago. Ralph, most of him, was found dead in the trunk of a missing girl's car along with a whole lot of unanswered questions. Ten years later, and we're still asking, who killed Ralph Montgomery? I'm Brenda Bentley, private detective who has partnered with Wayface Radio, a radio station for the good people. Over the course of the next 12 episodes, I'll be digging into one of America's most compelling and confusing mysteries, and by God, I'm going to solve it. Whew, that wasn't so hard. You say that now. You don't think this parallel narrative thing is cheesy? I think that's a little cheesy. Cheesy? It's a classic literary structure. What I do have a problem with is saying that it was Ralph's torso. It's totally his torso. It's not definitively proven to be his torso. Facts, Bentley. If we're going to do this stupid thing, we need facts. Whose torso could it be? Or do you think Julie Capsum went on long drives with random torsos in her trunk? Uh, I know where this road goes Going down. for a if long drive, Ma. Your have a good time, sweetie. I'll pack a torso for you if you get hungry. And this needs to be rock solid. You know, we never really did explore the cannibalism angle back in the day. Maybe it's a rich people cannibal cult. Oh, well, at least that's better than aliens. What'd you say? You heard me. Oh, yeah? You gotta aliens. Just keep bringing Arden, aliens. a new podcast oh, coming yeah, soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brought to you by Wayface Industries. The good people. One time they were an alien.